Hi guys, I'm back. I hope you're doing well. I felt like doing some kind of fall inspired makeup today. I'm in a fall mood. I lit my fall scented candle. I just, I love fall. I feel like fall is probably my favorite time of year. I'm just kind of, yeah, like in that fun Halloween autumn-y feel. So I just also just wanted to sit down and play with makeup because I have a chance, right? this second um my all my kids are with dad right now on an outing so that feels really good i have a little bit of space little time um as a mom i don't really get much time to myself and when i do sometimes i just want to stare at the wall because i don't really get a chance to ever stare at the wall but today i just feel like what inspires me well makeup always inspires me so i'm gonna sit down and film and just kind of do some sort of a fall inspired look but also just play with some makeup so if you're a mom and you have a minute this is for you but it's also for anybody who just wants to play with makeup and yeah so let's just let's just do this thing so i purchased the elf liquid poreless putty primer so i'm excited to use this i have just i washed my face this morning and i just did skincare oh and a tiny tiny bit of brow um but that was it and i have lip balm on but i i didn't put any makeup on i had to get up take the twins to the doctors and then I had to run two errands with them came back everybody went with dad so i just feel like doing a little bit of me time and so yeah anyway I've used this once but I just purchased it recently and I like it it was very smoothing definitely filled in the pores I'm not really putting this all over my face though I'm just really concentrating it down the center of my face where I have like larger pores. Yeah, it's super, it dries down pretty quick and it's very silky. It feels really similar to the Tatcha Liquid Silk Primer. Yeah, this feels very similar to that. So that's fun and it was $10, so fun, fun. Let's do a little bit of under eye. Just gonna use my trusty Ole Hendrickson CC stick. I've just been using this because it's what's in my purse, so it's just the easiest thing for me to use. And I like that it's skin carry. Is that a word? So I wanted to show you guys, this is the Major Headlines Blush Palette Volume 2 uh, from Patrick Ta from last Christmas. So in my last video, I showed you guys, the, oh, it's so dirty, the Patrick Ta blush palette I didn't use it I just used a glitter eyeshadow from it but this is this year's and I love the new packaging bright pink and then this is from last year if you are a makeup collector like me uh, you'll probably own this but this is from last year so the colors are a little bit more muted and this is a highlighting duo and the creams are always underneath this little plastic cover and we've got flirty giving sun-kissed giving glossy this feels kind of fall and um that might work and then i was thinking about doing just a simple eye look using the abh rose metals palette because this is super fall feels very fall oh, can you see it there you go very fall inspired i think i purchased this last fall and it says limited edition i believe but it's still on sephora you can still get it so that's fun so i thought maybe we could do that too so what else do we need to do okay so everything i'm sure is set in nicely maybe we'll do maybe we'll do a little bit of nars soft matte i'm just gonna use my fingers just a little bit of under eye that's probably all i'm gonna do i do have a powder foundation i could use that Blending that in. I'm gonna use this uh, Patrick Ta. So the middle one was giving sun kiss. That makes sense. I'm just sitting on my floor, <laughs> but I thought I, I wanted to get up on my legs. That feels better. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go directly in with my Fenty Cream Blush 
cream product brush. Get a little bit on the brush. Start applying that to the cheeks. It's a little more sheer than I thought it was, which I'm happy about because sometimes when products are super pigmented, it's a little intimidating. It can be a bit much. I can accidentally go in too hard and just blend for days, but it does blend out like beautifully. I'm just a big blender. So that was the cream. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in with powder. Put a beauty, easy bake, put a little bit in the cap. And just apply that mostly to the center of my face. I mean, I am gonna put it all over the face, but. Okay, now I wanna go in with, I feel like this is just reminds me of fall, this Too Faced Chocolate Matte Soleil. Can you see it? Long wear matte wrap bronzer. Now this is like majorly pigmented, so I'm gonna be careful with this. So I'm gonna just tap into the product and kind of tap on, oh. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells just like a chocolate bar. Tap, tap. And just going wherever the sun hits the face. Bronze up so I don't look flat. You always have to add that dimension. Lovely. I'm just going to line my the bottom of my eyes because it makes me feel better. There. Let's go in with our eyeshadow. This is the Fall Metals, or not Fall Metals, Rose Metals palette, ABH. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just go in with like a transition shade. We're going to go in to that shade. It's Rose Quartz. I'm going to use this mirror. I didn't prep my eyes. Whatever. You want to prep your eyes if you want it to be more long lasting. Oh, that is so pretty and so silky. And that looks so good just on its own. I don't really care if this lasts that long. I'm not going anywhere. I might go outside and push my son on the swing. I might make some mac and cheese for dinner. But it makes me feel better to have my makeup on and play with makeup. It's like therapy for me. I'm going to take my powder brush because I got I flung some of the eyeshadow in my inner corner. There's definitely some fallout. You can do your eyeshadow first before you do your base. Uh, if you're worried about fallout, but. And then I'm going to take the other end of this eyeshadow brush and go into ashes in my crease. I might need to do a darker color. This isn't that dark. Creating a shadow on my outer corner. Other side. When in doubt, just blend, blend, blend with eyeshadow. Running, I'm just taking the same brush and like running it along the bottom lash line. And then for a little bit of topper, I'm going to use Heavenly. Focusing that more on the inner corner to middle so the outer edge stays kind of like darker. Just adding some dimension, it's pretty. Her shadows are so buttery. This is like a good Sephora sale recommendation right here. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Starting at the base. I need a mirror. I'm gonna go in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just buff like the outer corners of my eyeshadow. Sometimes it's good to do a second take. Just take a deeper look. Buff the outer. I think that looks good. There's something in my eye. I think some of the eyeshadow got in my eyeball. 
I'm gonna go in with royal it's kind of like purpley color just a little bit of it with this eyeshadow brush and just go on my bottom lash line just to darken it up liquid eyeshadow or liquid what is this liquid eyeliner just on the outer corner just to complete this look and just the outer corner just kind of stamping it on uh oh I messed it up oh god just wipe that away eh, good enough yeah it's not perfect but it's that's fine Good enough. Okay, let's go in with some mascara. I feel like doing chocolate Too Faced first. Starting at the base and just kind of wiggling it up. Too Faced mascaras are really pretty wonderful, especially after a few days after buying them because then they kind of dry out and then the formula is not so wet. I don't do very well with wet. <laughs> Mascara, mascara that's just like really like wet and kind of almost runny. I like a thicker, it's just my lashes can get weighed down really easily with like a brand new mascara. And then we're going to go in with black of Too Faced. If I can get my lashes to be nice and voluminous, I think that would look good with more eyeshadow. With this eyeshadow, oh. I put it on my cheek. Then my lashes don't get like lost in the look. But I don't really like too dark of eyeshadow on me. I'm gonna let this dry and then scratch it off with a spoolie. I'm gonna do a little bit more bronzer. All right, there we go. I was feeling timid with the bronzer at first, but now I'm not even worried. I'm just going in ham with it there. That looks good. It smells so good. So if you want to be more careful, tap off the excess, just go in carefully, but now I'm, I'm over it. And I thought about this from Hourglass. This is the at night. Oops. Col uh, shade. So nice, like brick red, crimson. I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath and I'm gonna swirl it around on my Sigma Switch. This I am gonna tap off. Ooh. Swirl it around. These are so glowy. These blushes are so glowy. Yeah, that's really pretty. It feels very fall. I love it. Yeah, that's really pretty. Let's see if I can get this off. All right, I got most of it. It's good. Let's go in with a little spice lip liner. Do the lips really quick and I just want to use black honey in the gloss black honey gloss by Clinique yeah that matches that feels fall oh freckles I love that. That looks so cute. Okay, I got cut off again. We're going to finish up. Uh, I'm going to go in to the Patrick Ta last year's palette and use the... I'm going to use a cream first just with my finger. Do I have a clean finger? I guess I'll use my pinky. The cream highlighter and just put that on the high points. It's pretty, but it's... It's almost like Vaseline with a little tiny bit of shimmer. Now I'm going to go into the powder. Oh yeah. Let's go down the center of the nose. And let's 
Who doesn't like a cute little nose? I'm going to go in with my Lawless powder now. This is the shade Light Medium. This is a perfecting powder, talc-free skin smoothing powder. And I'm going to go in with the brush. Just to shut down that shine. Just stamping it on. Bringing it down the neck. There we go. Ah, oh, much better. I was going to go in with setting spray, but I don't want to now. So let's do airbrow. Run this through my brows. All right. And that completes this look. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think of this makeup look. The highlighter, I think I really like it. It's melting into the skin. Patrick Ta really does no wrong with his formulas. He's amazing. So I hope you guys have an amazing night wherever you are. And please like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!